You know, I love how the glory lifts limits off of people. I love it. <laughs> uh, oh, get ready. I'm telling you, just get ready. Because some of you are about to just go through such a massive breakthrough in your life. Oh, just get ready. So, I was uh, in Africa with Heidi and Roland, and Heidi was sharing this story, how they were feeding, you know, all of the children. And on this particular outreach, there was like so many more children, hundreds more children there, and they had their big pots of food, and you know, the food is getting all the way down to the bottom of the pot, and the workers are crying, and they're like, Jesus, we're going to have to send these children away with no food. This is not good. And they're crying, and their tears become like liquid intercession. And they keep scraping the bottom of the pot. And every time they scrape the bottom of the pot, they fill another bowl. And then they scrape the bottom of the pot and fill another bowl. And then they scrape the bottom of the pot and fill another bowl. And they scrape the bottom of the pot and fill another bowl until every child was fed. See, that's what happens in the glory. The natural limitations come right off. I remember one time, and I'm making a shift right now. I remember one time, okay, I was in a church. And during the worship time, I was visiting this church, and during the worship time, Holy Spirit spoke to me. He said, Matt, I want you to give to this church. And I said, okay, God, I'll give to the church. And he gave me a number. And I'm just going to be honest with you. It was one of those moments where my brain had a conversation with my spirit. <laughs> my heart brain talked with my mind brain, and my logical brain talked with my heart brain. And God gave me this number. It was like thousands. And and I said, I thought, God, I've never, ever, ever, ever given anything like that. And God said, I want you to give it into the church. And I said, okay, God, I will. And when I said I will, this faith, this joy rose up on the inside of me. So then I go home and I go to my finance person. And I say, write this check and mail it to this church because I didn't have that much on me. I said, mail it to the church. And they said, are you sure, Matt? I said, yes, I'm sure. That's a lot of money, Matt. We really need that money, Matt. I said, God spoke to me, send it. Okay. So a week goes by and I come back. Did you send it? No. I said, no. I said, you're holding up our blessing. So now I told this to another evangelist and the evangelist was much more choleric than I am. If you know choleric, the person had to very strong. And he looked at me, he said, oh, he said, if my staff member disobeyed me, I would have fired them on the spot. Boom. And I looked at him, I said, well, it's really hard to fire your mom. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, 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 you don't fire mom. No, not if you don't want to be in trouble with Jesus, you do not fire mom. <laughs> so I leaned over to my mom, I said, mom, I said, watch what God is gonna do. Cause I knew God was gonna do something. So she sent it. Five days later, I remember this. There's, there are these moments you just never forget. Five days later, I'm walking, and a lady comes walking up to me, tears running down her face. God spoke to me. I have to give this to you. And she put a check in my hand, and I opened it up. And when I opened it up, I knew why she was crying. <laughs> no, because Jesus was touching her heart. She was being moved. So... <laughs> <laughs> but when I looked at this, I was like, whoa, I'm like, God, we've never in the history of our ministry ever had a check like this come in through our ministry ever, God. And I realized something in that moment. It was like when God had put things in my hand, it was like when we give to God what's in our hand, there's a divine exchange and God gives to us what's in his hand. And I have learned what is in God's hand is way better than what is in our hand. And it was like from that moment, from that very day forward, something opened up over our ministry and God began, as I obeyed him, God began to pour in supernatural provision into our ministry where we had stepped out with nothing 
except obedience to God. And then suddenly we were traveling to nations and we were doing crusades in India and Africa and feeding children and drilling water wells. And now we're up to our eighth water well in Africa that brings clean drinking water to like 2,000 to 4,000 people in a village and then they're getting saved. And it all started with nothing except obedience to God and then following the Holy Spirit. And I saw the limits whew, come right off. And God said, if you'll honor me, if you'll obey me, I will always be your source and I will always provide for you. Hallelujah. No limits. No limits. Everyone say no limits. This is an actual testimony of God's miraculous power at Matt's meetings. As I web streamed the MSM conference, I felt the Lord say to me, this is for you. I had been having symptoms of heart problems and had been grieving over the loss of my grandchild. I thought I was improving, so when I heard the Lord say these words, I wasn't sure I heard him right. Then, one of the conference speakers began speaking with a woman who revealed that she was grieving over the death of her granddaughter and had heart problems. I didn't doubt that God was speaking any longer. I began to weep and felt my emotional and physical symptoms disappear. I am grateful for another life-impacting MSM conference. Tony, New York. Send us your testimonies on how God has impacted you through Matt Sorger Ministries. There are certain promises in the scriptures that only now are we beginning to understand. And there is a fullness coming to the body of Christ that will help us in our understanding of health. Secrets in the Bible teach us how to not only move in the realm of God's glory, but also live in God's healing power to the point that sickness can't even touch us. In this teaching series, Creating a Sickness-Free Glory Zone, you will be empowered to understand God's will to heal and how to effectively release God's healing power to others. You will also learn how to accelerate the manifestation of a miracle and see a hedge of protection released around the church that none would become sick and die prematurely. Order Creating a Sickness-Free Glory Zone, a four-CD teaching set by Matt Sorger with your love gift of $30 or more. Also available online in MP3 format. Call 1-877-GOD-3131 today. For international orders, please visit us at mattsorger.com. Introducing the all-new MSM app, where you can grow with Matt Sorger Ministries through video, audio, and social media around the world. Watch Power for Life over Wi-Fi or listen to a podcast on the go. View Matt's itinerary and see where he'll be speaking next. Follow Matt on Facebook and Twitter or view some photos on Instagram. Read the Bible in 40 different versions or listen to the English Standard Version. You can also journal as Matt shares God's Word. Read Matt's blog, where he gives insight through many teachings. Or raise your faith by reading someone's testimony and then share with friends that may need encouragement on Facebook. You get all these features and much more to explore in a clean, organized, and easy-to-use interface absolutely free. Download the MSM app for iPhone and Android devices by searching for Matt Sorger in the app and Google Play stores today. This program was brought to you by the friends and partners of Matt Sorger Ministries.